The jobless numbers are out for the month of June, and there hasn't been too much movement either way. The four western provinces see the best employment picture because of the resource sector. But it's a sector that has been facing challenges recently. The national unemployment rate is 7 percent and the local jobless rate sits at 5.5 percent, up marginally from the previous month. But 5.5 percent is a pretty comfortable place to be. For Prince George, it, it's, it's very healthy because we're used to rates of, of typically 7 percent and, and, and often higher. So the fact that we have su such a, uh, a low unemployment rate in, in these times is, is actually good news. Members of the Northern Skills Training Center are in likely already doing an assessment of the employment picture in that community. We don't know what's going to happen there in terms of employees going back to work to do cleanup or whatever is going to happen. But I just think that these labor market adjustments are in some ways good for the rest of the resource industry because there just is not an adequate labor supply. BC's jobs plan is heavily invested in a successful resource sector. It's a sector that has had some challenges, like Kitimat's LNG sector and now Mount Polly. But it's not worrisome for the jobs minister. We're going to remain focused and, and making sure that we are trying to develop the resource sector in a responsible and reasonable way. And, and you know, yes, there are cyclical uh, uh, circumstances at times, but we are seeing strong growth in, in some sectors. And that's what we need to continue to focus on. British Columbia is a resource-rich province. But Al Adians feels there may be some difficulties down the road unless the province treads lightly. We are high-cost resource producers. Uh, no way around that. And uh, so, you know, if, if, if they ever get peace in the Crimea, you'll, you'll see cheap gas coming out of there, no doubt. Uh, the Russians, as a matter of fact, have already made a, a deal with, with, with the Chinese, and I think eventually they'll be able to deliver on that. So, so we have to be, you know, really careful about, about putting our, all of our marbles into, into, that, into that one resource. Idians says what will impact the resource sector more than disasters like Mount Polly will be the expectation of greater oversight and greater land rights to First Nations in the province. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.